one internet video uh, was not enough. We're doing three more. So this is going to be contracts rather than jurisdictional internet stuff. So first thing we're going to talk about is Myers versus Uber. Um, so man sues Uber. We're back on the UCC, by the way. Man sues Uber, claims he never read the terms and condition. Uber wants arbitration. Under California law, a person must be aware of the terms he consents to, or a reasonable person would have read them. So if the terms and conditions are ones that a reasonable person would have read, not reasonable, sorry, a prudent person. The standard is not reasonability here, it's prudence, which we can get into if we want, but it's prudence. If a prudent person would have read the terms, should have read the terms. Um, so we're going to talk about a couple different terms here real quick, uh, just to zoom out. Uh, browse wrap, shrink wrap, click wrap. So uh, we'll start with shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. If a uh, business sends you the item and, you know, there's a set of terms like, read this now, these are your terms. Um, you open it up, and those are the terms of service. Uh, that would be shrink wrap, right? If the terms of service are delivered with the goods. Cash now, terms later is another term for that. That's a complicated thing. Um, just let it be known that it's generally permitted under the UCC. Um, as long as the consumer has the option to reject, right? So, and return, reject and return. Next option uh, is shrink, or is a click wrap, basically checking the box. And then browse wrap. That's when all the way down at the bottom of, um, I can't think of it. Said I would shop on Amazon right now when I know they make you click a box. <laughs> Whatever, we'll make one up. Amazon. Say so you're on Amazon, and all the way down at the bottom, there is the little link that says terms and conditions. Those terms and conditions might apply to you. That's called browse wrap. Uh, the wrap in both click wrap and browse wrap just refers to the fact that it's the same thing as shrink wrap. Really got to keep the naming consistent. So, uh, Myers versus Uber, like I said. Um, so the court rules that a hyperlink that is a clear and obvious in a browser wrap situation is sufficient notice, right? So we love our blue hyperlinks. If you've got a blue hyperlink and it's flashing at you or it's right there below the check, right, you know, right below the login or whatever, that blue hyperlink, that terms and conditions, those are going to apply to you. you know, if it says login and there's a View terms and conditions or terms of service or whatever. Uh, those will apply to you um, under the ruling here in Myers versus Uber. Um, right? The user must have actual or constructive knowledge of the terms. And you may not have, so, uh, you know, uh, actual means you know. Constructive means you may have known, but you should have known. Um, and knowledge of the website's uh, terms and conditions, and that's what you have to have knowledge of. And you have to have knowledge that registering for the website is going to subject you to those. Uh, and that, that's generally the rule when it comes to browser app, and you'll see a, a counter case in just a second in the next video. All right.